So this is going to be a little bit of a different video. A lot of the speculation and coverage on this channel has been about Fallout 3 Remastered, Fallout 4, and of course Fallout 76, the center stage over the past few weeks. Well, there's actually a few other games that I think are of interest to me and by proxy that actually should be of interest to you because it's going to be pretty relevant to, well, Fallout fans. And that game in particular is going to be Cyberpunk 2077. We don't know a ton about this game. We know the developer, which is going to be CD Projekt Red. Of course, the people that made The Witcher 3, which is at a pretty fierce competition with Fallout 4. Many would actually argue that The Witcher 3 won out in that battle as it got many more Game of the Year prizes. And I think a lot of people just regard it as the Game of the Year for 2015. Well, there's been a lot of hints and indication that Cyberpunk 2077 is going to get its proper reveal at this this E3. We actually have a teaser trailer from a long time ago, and although it shows a lot about the world space that's going to be some kind of sci-fi game, it doesn't really show you much as to what the game itself is going to play like. It's likely safe to assume that's going to be fairly similar to The Witcher 3, but how similar? And how similar is it going to be to Fallout 4? One thing that a lot of people are really keeping their eyes open for is mod support. Obviously, the Fallout franchise makes a ton of money from mod support, and other game companies that are in a similar niche well, it would make a lot of sense for them to kind of branch out into that and try and take away some of that market share. So in this video, I kind of want to review all of the indications that CD Projekt Red is actually going to be showing us a full reveal of Cyberpunk 2077 at this E3. And actually one thing from a while ago that may mean it's coming out later this year, which would be really exciting because then we get both Fallout 76 and Cyberpunk 2077 in 2018. So right off the bat, something pretty interesting. Uh, one of the most official sources you can get on E3's own website website CD Projekt Red had a listing that they would be showing off a role-playing game for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Now this is pretty interesting because that was subsequently taken down, put back up, and now remains down. You can't actually see this if you go on E3's website right now. It just shows that they're having a conference and where they're having that conference. Even beyond that, there was a pretty deliberate tease that something would be coming at this E3. A few months ago, there was actually an investor relations like call and conference presentation, whatever you want to call it. And at that conference, there there was a glitch. I'll actually just show you what happened in real time, then we could break it down. Mati, uh, from Bloomberg News. When can we expect uh, the uh, second beep from Cyberpunk? Well, as regards Cyberpunk, I would terribly want to tell you something about this, but today this is not the time. So at first glance, it might just seem like something weird happened with the audio video there, but no, upon further inspection, it seems like that was pretty deliberate. At the moment when this occurred, somebody actually asked a question about when we would expect more details on Cyberpunk 2077, to which they responded, we can't actually share that yet, but then this pops up on screen. And something important to note, if you actually look in the corner, their logo never gets glitched out. And that is part of the same video feed. If you actually go earlier in the stream, you'll see certain slides where the logo isn't there, and then it suddenly appears because they go to a different slide. So this glitch is something that CD Projekt Red seemingly wanted to tease, and if you actually look a little bit closer at the glitch, there's three E's, or what people make out to be three E's. Just yesterday we found out that CD Projekt actually filed the trademark application for Cyberpunk 2077. This doesn't necessarily indicate anything, except that they want to trademark something that we already know is going to be their game, but Cyberpunk 2077 was initially revealed in 2012, they're just suddenly doing it now. Six years later, I imagine this is a little bit of a nod that, all right, yeah, we're going to be showing this at E3, as well as they did it really close to E3, which a company such as this one knows is going to stir up speculation. And then finally, Cyberpunk.net, which is owned by CD Projekt, was recently updated. There's still nothing really on the website, but actually this guy on Reddit had, I guess, like a little bot or something to monitor the source code or CSS of the website, and whenever a change was made, it would actually tweet at him. And to quote him exactly, he says, some of the comments in the HTML were removed, and for both CSS and JavaScript, the multiple include links were merged into one file for each. I think meant to say multiple included links, but either way, the takeaway is the website was edited behind the scenes, yet still nothing is shown on it. So all of that evidence over the past few months makes it seem extremely likely that we're going to get a full reveal of Cyberpunk 2077 at this E3. Now to get into the more speculation part is, are we going to see this game this year? And I'm going to go with yes, because of one quote from the CEO of CD Projekt that was all the way back from 2015. This shortly 
after the reveal of Fallout 4 and of course the revelation that it's going to get a release date later that year. The quote from the CEO of CD Projekt Red is, We're impressed with Fallout 4's rollout. They came on stage and said it's here, it's real, and it's coming out on this date. We're going to do something similar. We're going to wait to reveal the game until we can show off a very meaningful piece of it. So that doesn't confirm that a release date is going to be this year, but I would imagine it's going to be fairly soon. I can't imagine they're going to go for like next year's holiday release if they waited this long for a full reveal. A full six years after the initial announcement, I imagine based off this quote from three years ago, they're going to have something serious to show and hopefully a release date coming soon. But this is a quick turnaround with Fallout 4 was to a lot of praise. A lot of journalists, a lot of YouTubers, and even just gamers in general really liked this. The era when a game gets announced or revealed two to three years ahead of its actual release date is kind of slowly coming to an end. More and more often you see games getting announced like a year ahead of time or even the same year they get released. Either way, that's pretty much all the information we have going into the C3 about Cyberpunk 2077. It's based off all of this that I can pretty confidently say that we'll hopefully see See this at E3 and even more hopeful we'll actually get it in our hands later this year or early next year. As always again I thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys all next time. Later!